गणपति आयो रे लाल धर गणपति आयो रे गणपति आयो रे चंदन चौकी धाय गुराने मर्दन की ना तन का चेतन समेत बनाए पुतला दीना चंदन चौकी धाय गुराने मर्दन की ना तन का चेतन समेत बनाए पुतला दीना सुंदर बालक दिव्या शक्ति से जीवित की ना गौरव माने वही गणेश तहार लाल भर गणपति आयो तुझे जन्म दियो है इस 
लागले ने तुझे जन्म दियो जन्म दियो है तुझे जन्म दियो है जन्म दियो है तुझे जन्म दियो है किसने दियो उपदेश लाल घर गणपति आयो रे आयो रे
Yes, Mr. DJ, brothers and sisters. This is Mr. G to you all from all the world, all over the world. Let's with this 
globally conscious mindset do a namaskar so that the whole world can do namaskar as if all the yogis of the world through us are doing namaskar to the devi and the respect of the lord ganesh our beloved elder brother collective namaskar kundalini I think I have talked about it many a times. But in the West, I must say, because of our wrong attitudes, and the acceptance of wrong mental projections of other people who are very dominating, we have very much ruined our muladhar despite the fact that kundalini has risen with whatever weaker power that muladhar had and has sustained itself we must know that we can always fall a trap to our different bifurcations which we had created before it's a very serious matter that the muladhara chakra has been really shattered and we have created pathways into which our attention can go if we are not very careful now supposing if somebody is a dishonest person or a miserly person or money oriented it is very gross and you can see so clearly 
You see yourself and you get shocked. How, why did I say such a thing? Why did I do such a thing? But when it comes to the left side nonsense, sin against the mother, it's a secretive action. That's only between you and yourself. Nobody knows what goes on in your mind except for you. Nobody knows what you are going to do next moment in your privacy, when you are alone. Nobody can look into it except for your mother. I also only feel your Muladharas, and to be very frank with you, that's one center I find it difficult to feel myself. The reason is I have a very, very strong Muladhara, which is not so sensitive, I would say. It is not bothered. The attention of my muladhara doesn't go near any other muladhara. It just recedes back. That's the action it plays all the time. So I also, unless and until it is very badly off and if the person is very close to me, then I feel the muladhara very strongly. But still, I can. Supposing you give me something, that thing is used by you, immediately I can feel it. So the correction of Muladhara entirely depends on you. <coughs> and without a strong Muladhara you cannot rise high. Do what you like. Now for people who are Indians, who have respected their Muladharas, there are so many methods and ways given how to raise the power of Muladhara. But that won't work out with the Western people because it's a damaged one. It's the one which is a shattered one and which does not work on the physical side of the Muladhara but on the emotional side as we call the manna, the left side. <coughs> so, even you may not talk in that way, but your mind is still in that realm and you still think on that realm. Even mentally you are in it or you are seeing things, wanting to see such things, wanting to enjoy such things, that lurking attraction is still there, your muladhara cannot stand up. We have to realize that I am talking to Western people. I would not say the same to the people from India. So now we have to work out much harder to be on the watch out to deal with yourself, as it is more a mental activity, mental meaning, I mean the emotional side. You have to watch your mind. In English it's very funny word mind is, but mana, through which we cater to our emotional side, to our desire, Where is it going? Where is this movement of our mind? What is it doing? You have to stand against your mind, stand against your desires, or you can face it and see for yourself clearly what's happening. It's for you to decide. Nobody is going to correct you on this point. 
I know you people have been confessing to me. I never read your letters to be very frank. Whatever letters you sent, I would not read it. Whatever confessions you have made, I have burnt all those letters. I haven't got any idea as to what you did, nor do I want to know about it. That's not my concern. My concern is that now you do not dwell upon the same ideas on the same level, or on any level whatsoever, we can say. It is in thoughtless awareness you can combat the thoughts that come to you from wrong type of muladhana. Maybe some of you have got boots on your muladhana. And we have some physical treatment for such boots also, which I'll tell to come in sometimes, which you can ask. But you cannot always say that it is a boot and I'm all right, I'm away from the boot. You're not. Whenever you say, I have a boot, means you yourself, you are siding with the boot. You see a person as a sakshi. That means you see that person, but you do not get a reaction, which is pillar of joy. You yourself can feel your muladharas very well. You can feel it on your fingertips also, and be alert about it. If you want to be kind to yourself, know that you have to divert your attention towards a sane married life. But also that should not be too much. Because what I have learned now, that in the West people have devised methods of transferring their attention from one person to another. Mental acrobats of different types they have devised to destroy their pure attention. Don't play on to this. There are so many other things by which we express that we are still under the trap of a bad muladhara. The way you dress up, the way you walk, the way you sit, the way you talk, the way you behave, to impress other people, I am to be impressed by other people in Sahaja Yoga itself. The only impression that should really work is the height of ascent that others have achieved. You can do it, it's not difficult. When the Kundalini can rise with all such shattered muladharas, I'm sure you can cure your muladhara completely. But your question is, first of all, of strengthening the muladhara, for which I think you all have to go into a kind of a tapasya. That's why I say sometimes that the Western people should take less of meat, especially the red meats and beef and horses and dogs. And I don't know what else you eat. <laughs> Take more to vegetarian food. I am not saying vegetarianism, you understand that. Take more to things which do not give you so much heat in the body. Even fish is very heated. 
So take to a life which is in a way ascetic, but don't take to these horrible hell foods also. And I can't tolerate them, I tell you. They are not meant for human beings, but for animals, I think. They churn your stomach completely, you know, it's horrible. This country store thing I took once and I said, I had enough of it. Country store, the whole country went into my stomach, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so for you people, you have to go. Those who are suffering from muladhara must know that food does make a difference in the powers of muladhara. So if you have to get it cured, first of all, you have to soothe it down. It is over-excited, over-excited. Any man you touch, any woman you touch, any woman you look at, I just thought it is tiny, it's worse than monkey. Horrible! You have to soothe it down, cool it down, so that Ganesha bestows His blessing upon your monadha. There's no grace. But it's not so outside that I can say that you must respect yourself. It cannot work out with those words, I know. You have to sit down, do meditation and try to soothe it down. I'll discuss with Gavin and I'll tell him what things can be done about it, because I can't tell you in the open like this. But still, this is all physical. Mentally you must be on the watch to see where does this mind go to dirty things? Why does it always go to this sensation? See the birds, see the flowers, see the nature, see the beautiful people, just see them. Another horrible thing in the West is that the women must expose their body to get men excited. Or men do the same, I think. They always try to excite each other and live in a stupid excitement. You have to expose beautiful things like flowers, beautiful ornaments. All right. But you are not a thing. It's your private. property. You don't put all your gold on the streets, do you? Better try that sometimes. You will mind people plundering your gold, but you don't mind your chastity being plundered. Everyone looking at you with dirty eyes, you don't feel insulted, because ego is a dirty stuff. It does not mind. It feels happy that people are watching you. They are plundering you. They are looting your chest. But Sahaja Yogis are not like that. But still I must say you must cleanse your hearts, cleanse your minds, take yourself out of it. The minds are very funnily placed and that's why the greatest complications there are in the brains of people. They are very confused, very confused people, because there is no wisdom in this kind of life to become just a sex-oriented personality. It is actually just the other way down. If you are money-oriented, you want to preserve money. 
If you are position-oriented, you want to preserve it. If you get one little antique piece, you want to preserve it. And why not this property of yours, which is the highest of all, to be preserved, to be adorned, to be worshipped? I'm quite worried on that point, that secretly people are indulging into such things, and that hypocritical sometimes. They don't mind being hypocritical about it. That's a yogi, all right. But in this matter they think they can go about the way they like. And sometimes some of them say that Mother has said, it's all right. I never said so. There's one point I cannot compromise is this. You must have a chaste outlook towards yourself, towards your life, towards your being, towards your personality. You are saints. And if a saint doesn't have a good character, I call it the character, the essence of character, he's not a saint. So this purity has to be maintained. There cannot be any compromise on that. You cannot hit at the roots of everything. If it works out in a collective way, nobody cheats oneself, <coughs> nobody deceives oneself and puts the mind into right track of ascent, thinking about the ascent, how you are going to rise, thinking of the moments when you had the joy, thinking of the day when you met me first, thinking of all the other beautiful and holy things, your mind can be cleansed. <coughs> and whenever such a thought comes in, you have to say, not this, not this, not this. It's more mental than physical, I think. I know it's difficult, but if you can get Realization, why not this also? You all have to understand that there is no compromise on this. And a day may come, if you continue with it, you will be thrown away completely, just like any other devil is thrown out. So there is no compromise. Tell yourself, don't deceive yourself, don't cheat yourself. You cannot ascend. If there is any lurking thing within you, you'll be dragged down, because that's your weakness. You'll become weaker and weaker and weaker. Only question is, where is your attention? Divert. Divert your attention. First you will need some exercise, some effort, and afterwards it will come automatically. You won't have to exert, you won't have to worry. On the contrary, it will become impossible how to be otherwise. So much conditioning is there. We have played into the hands of conditioning. We have ruined ourselves. This conditioning is the subtlest of all and the worst of all. It's impossible to combat in Sahaja Yoga, unless and until you individually take up the responsibility of looking after it. Muladhara is one of the most delicate and the most powerful chakra. It has so many folds and it has so many <coughs> dimensions. If your muladhara is not all right, your memory will fail. If your muladhara is not all right, to begin with, your wisdom will fail. You will have no sense of direction. The insanity that is now crawling up in America, before they become forty years of age, is because their muladhara is around. Most of the diseases which are incurable, come because of weak muladharas. 
on the physical side. On the mental side, most of the mental problems, disorder, most, I would say, 90 percent are due to weak muladhar. If a person has a strong muladhar, powerful muladhar, it doesn't get into trouble. Because you know there's a very strong hold of that muladhara on the back here. And when your mind goes off, you blame the brain. It's not the brain. Mostly it is the muladhara. So for physical safety and for your emotional safety also, you have to have a same type of attitude towards muladhara. That's why I'm very anxious that you all should get married. And after marriage, after a few days, you find that your attention start diverting to other problems of married life. But none if you are not a surgeon, because the sensationalization has become the main theme of the modern life. When you are tossed about on the rough sea of all these deliberate actions of the people, media, books, ideas, everything creates this horrible, excitable temperament. Such a person doesn't have any patience, doesn't have any balance, actually is hypocritical and has a bled, bad, very bad left issue. So many complications take place with it. Before realization, forget the past. Whatever you have done, forget it. Just don't worry. But remember one thing, that you have damaged your muladhara, so you have to look after it. You have to soothe it down. Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Let's collectively start the meditation. And as Mother recommended, we need to soothe down the muladhara. Let's put both hands on the floor. Ideally, sit on the floor. Let's just breathe in peacefully by inflating the stomach and breathe out all the stress, all the negativities, everything that is creating some heat within us. We just breathe in peacefully the prana, the fresh air, the oxygen with gratitude. We do a small pause so that the oxygen and the prana can nourish ourselves. And we breathe out all the negativity, all the heat, everything that is preventing us to go deep into meditation. Both hands on the floor, Muladhara ideally also on the floor.
And the more we breathe in and we breathe out, the more we also surrender to Mother Earth. We surrender every negativity, all the heat through our muladhara, to our feet, through our hands on Mother Earth. Every connection to Mother Earth is a point of surrendering all the negativities in our body, even in our homes, in our countries, in the whole world, through our collective global attention and consciousness. Let's collectively surrender as one. Let our attention be above Sarasvara, on the vacuum above Sarasvara, which connect us to the higher chakras above Sarasvara, while at the same time we are very conscious of our Sarasvara, how enlightened it is, how shining it is, how glorious it is. Collectively, we just are conscious of our sarsvara, our collective sarsvara shining above our head. Like one millions of suns in one, which is included in a crown made of 1000 petals of the sarsvara. Let's continue to breathe in and breathe out and just watch the glory of our mother, the glory of God through the shining of the sarsvara above our head. And at the same time, we continue to surrender to Mother Earth, everything that is a dharma, everything that is emotionally, mentally, physically damaging our muladhara, damaging our chastity, damaging our innocence.
Now let's say Shiganesh Mantra four times and Shia Dibhumi Devi Mantra four times. We need, we need to say it from the heart, from the spark of the spirit, which is shining in our heart, feeling the joy, feeling the beauty, feeling all the unconditional love in our heart. Our heart must not be like a chicken's heart, but as wide as the creation and beyond with the glory of our mother as Sri Shiva's consort, both of them shining in our heart with the complete glory of God. Sri Ganesh Mantra four times from the heart. Om Tuameva Sakshat Shri Ganesha Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Om Tuameva Sakshat Shri Ganesha Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Om Tuameva Sakshat Shri Ganesha Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Om Tuameva Sakshat Shri Ganesha Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Let's feel the Lord Ganesh completely awakened in Mother Earth. Let's feel the power of Mother Earth, which is Shri Ganesh. Let's feel that the Mother Earth is only filled with the glory and the complete presence of a huge and powerful Ganesh who is filling up the whole Mother Earth with his own unique, powerful presence, shining presence. Let's feel that as if we had, we are sit on a cloud of vibration on just pure vibrations. Our hands become cool, our muladhara become cool. We are just floating on Mother Earth, which is like a cloud or a bowl of vibrations, pure vibrations, pure, pure vibrations. Let's surrender the left side with super ego, complete surrendering of ego and right side and mind, and complete surrendering of everything that is impure in our central channels and in all our chakras. May our three nadis be completely surrendered to Mother Earth power. And may there be no negativity lingering 
anywhere in our being, in our auras, in our consciousness. Everything is surrendered to Mother Earth. We need to be here and now only, fully. Shri Adi Bhumi Devi Mantra four times from the heart collectively to empower and expand our level of consciousness and surrendering. Om Shri Adi Bhumi Devi Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Matanti Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Om Tuami Vastakshat Shri Adi Bhumi Devi Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Om Tuami Vastakshat Shri Adi Bhumi Devi Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Om Tuami Vastakshat Shri Adi Bhumi Devi Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namu Namaha Now, with a super high level of consciousness above Saswara, collective, global, cosmic consciousness and awareness, let's surrender to Mother Earth as one powerful virata being and surrender in a way that we have never done before. It's a complete surrendering, leaving nothing left behind. We surrender everything, our defects, our poor qualities, our, the poor image we, we image we can have of ourselves, of the world, distorted things in us, in our consciousness, in our mind, everything that is doing, that is making us believe that we are not enough, not enough good to be the divine child of our beloved divine mother and father, not enough beautiful, not enough lovable, not enough anything else that can, that is running into our minds or our emotions and bringing us down. Let's just be like the Lord Ganesh, proud of who we are, the way we are. We are perfect the way we are. Let's surrender to Mother Earth all those negativities, everything that is blocking our ascent and preventing us to have a clear, powerful, strong Muladhara that is as strong as the Lord Ganesh himself, meaning that we are allowing him to take over completely our Muladhara.
Now, let's open both our hands on our lap. Both hands are very open on our lap with the full consciousness of offering. Our hands and the chakras, which are on our hands, to the Devi with respect, with love, as her children. We have a complete open heart and we are truly honest, truly honest, honestly offering ourselves. Like many, many, many small children, which I just sit there, completely surrendered, in front of the glorious Devi, under her former the Lord Ganesh, or our mother under her complete form with the Lord Ganesh himself by her side. Our attention must be stronger and more collective and go higher above Saswara. We must really establish the level of thoughtless awareness where we are strongly above Sahasrara. We are completely emerged in the complete peace and silence. We are in thoughtless awareness collectively as one. We go higher into our meditation to really deepen the state of thoughtless awareness. Let's also watch, be on the watch. We watch ourselves, we watch our emotions, we watch our mind, we watch all our chakras, specifically Muladhara. We watch ourselves sit in a country of the world but at the same time completely integrated as the collective Virat. Meditating in front of the primordial mother and the primordial Lord Ganesh. Let's just watch the glory of God, the beauty of our meditation when we are together full attention on the Devi above Sahasrara. We must feel <clears throat> the oneness and be totally surrendered to go into the deeper state above thoughtless awareness reaching doubtless awareness and complete union with God, complete, complete yoga. Let collectively feel in our being, in our heart, in every cell of our being that we are totally united with Devi in a higher, higher region of Sasrara, where we are totally united with God. We are just one we feel in our consciousness and being that we are one. Let's just witness all this and just meditate in silence.
Where is our attention? Where is our attention? Let's gather ourselves very high in Saswara. Full attention on Devi with the Lord Ganesh. We need to be and feel that we are powerful when we are together, when we are one with God, when we are God, through our union with the Virat and complete surrendering and complete union with the Devi. Strong attention on Muladhara, empowering our own Muladhara. Let also fill our heart full of unconditional God love for all humanity, for all the yogis, for ourselves. We have a powerful Muladhara, a complete open hearted, completely surrendering in Saswara to the Devi and the Lord Ganesh and Kundalini is gloriously going up in us and flowing naturally, beautifully. And we are expanding and expanding more and more, becoming bigger and wider and deeper.
Now, let's collectively, from our hearts, surrender to the Lord Ganesh and ask for his protection, his complete protection. May he help us truly awaken all the power of our Muladhara and feel the power of chastity within ourselves, radiating and shining. May the Lord Ganesh be always with us, day, night, and for eternity. May he protect us and guide us and provide us with a deep wisdom. May everyone that comes around us feel the joy, the innocence, the purity, the chastity. Feel the vibrations, feel the complete love of God through us. May we ourselves be conscious of who we are really and deeply and really value the fact that we are saints as mother has always said we need just to be aware and to be conscious of that level where mother has always seen us but we need to realize that we are that And let's, to, before finishing our meditation, let's also surrender the whole people of the world. And let's pray collectively through our hearts that the Lord Ganesh establish a strong muladhara for every single human being as long as they walk on Mother Earth and we have the Lord Ganesh in Mother Earth, the Lord Ganesh can clear the Muladhara of every human being and empower with a strong sense of chastity as Mother has, has always said that before realization, chastity is the only thing that protects human beings self-respect, not indulging into bad, bad activities that damage the Muladhara. So we need to pray that more, all the human beings that are not yet yogis get a strong sense of chastity and purity, a strong awareness that they need to just be like children. Remember the children that they were, the joy of simple activities, the enjoyment of others, open heart, joy, gratitude to nature, to everything that God has created around us. Let's just do a small prayer in our heart for global issues because we are the Virat, so we are not that individual that is thinking about its own or his or her own self issues. We are one with the Devi, one with the Lord Ganesh. Let's just watch and pray for global issues from that perspective.
Let's thank the Lord Ganesh and our beloved mother for this moment of meditation. But we need really to imbibe that state where we are one with all our brothers and sisters. And when we are one with our beloved mother and the Lord Ganesh, so that even during our day life activities, we are in a deep state of consciousness, just watching the world, watching ourselves in a state of pure joy, pure love for everyone and everything. Just watching and being happy, being a sun of light and vibration irradiating that anyone can feel. Collective Namaskar and Kundalini.
Sankashtepava Vesurvara 